welcome back so I'm sure uh, older viewers will uh, remember this kind of game um, I made this for my boys so let's make one and uh, I'll show you how I made this now I got the inspiration from uh, Richard Raffen book on turning toys uh, he did something similar and uh, you can make it more challenging if you like and the different pattern and the stuff like that and different type holes if you want get it like diff more difficult and uh, just take this marbles out so it's excellent practice for making plates so this is something that you do if you turn a plate and uh, just drill the hole okay, let's start with our blank uh, this is roughly 10 and a quarter inches that's almost 260 mil and thickness is around 3 30 mil so that's inch and a quarter so I have two spacers on the screw chuck and uh, just wind that on and as usual first job is always to uh, chew it up so this is spindle gouge Uh, this is beach, by the way. But this is a little bit better stock than the one I use uh, on a platter. Just do the top as well. Okay. Just to see if there's any hidden split, although I don't think it is, but just check it to make sure. Okay. Everything is cut cleanly, except this. Measurement here, oops, wrong calipers. This one, this is the outside of the closed jaws. So that's that. Now, uh, it's much easier for me to switch the lathe in reverse. Uh, for this action, you uh, I should probably explain why I'm going in the reverse and cut in this direction here. Uh, I have a camera here, so I have to go like this. Usually I would uh, re reach over the bed lathe and cut it like that. But like I said, it's camera now in the way. And uh, I want you to see as much as, uh, as you can. Now for this, obviously you have to flick the chuck uh, whatever you're using flick it on or and even better put uh, that grub screw or uh, that uh, safety ring uh, but I have this pretty much uh, tight on and uh, should be enough so just have to uh, put your mind uh, that it's in reverse now light cuts okay and 
it should be pretty clean. And it's quite sandable. There is a burnish mark from the bevel here, but that will sand away easily. Now I can switch it back to normal and uh, I could even get this dovetail the other way and that's with the skew Oops. foot here let's say roughly around there Yeah. I want to set that in, so again, spin it out. This asymmetric grind ball gouge, uh, rough and style. Um, at the, from the middle of the bottom of the flute to the right it acts like a traditional grind and uh, if I get it right it should be nice and clean cut but I think I'll I'm going to need to sharpen it let's go first without sharpening Like that feels pretty good. Yep, that's a little bit more here at the edge, but that will send away. So that's pretty good. Now I don't want uh, too much of the decoration here at this corner. Uh, I'm just going to make a simple curve. Uh, because I want to hollow it and uh, make the uh, inside base or the bottom uh, to, uh, as much as I can wide so you have a room to play so I'm just going to curve this a bit get a little bit more tear out than I would like so I'm going to hone the standard scraper First I'm going to try flat. Now this, I can feel it's pretty good and I can see by the wispy shaving and the dust but I'm going to always try flat first and then I'll see how it works. Then I can tilt it up on an edge and so that's not too bad but I can make it better. I'm going to use a flat here in the corner like that and now I can continue okay let's sand that and finish it Again, linseed oil. Not 
sure if you can pick it up, but there's a tiny bit of a figure like shining through. Can you see that? Now on a beach like this, it's usually a bit of a problem because it does reflect and uh, uh, absorb oil quite differently so it turned out nicely nice soft wax on top now let's mount it Nice and true. If I go just down to the bottom of this hole, uh, that will be plenty enough. Let's see. Uh, shape this uh, rim here, so I'll put like a, a curved like this. can hollow the inside. Now I'll do the bulk of it with the bowl gouge. Now I'm going to put slight uh, curved to the middle so it's just that little bit more difficult to you know maneuver the the marbles now we'll straighten this but for now I want to level all this scraper is really fast approach for this and then later I can worry about uh, smoothing everything up now as I'm coming here to the to the rim I'm going to put my hand behind I can use a ball gouge here. Just 
want to make sure that the side is cut cleanly, which it feel it is. Now I need to go down more. This is too shallow. So here I'm not using the bevel. I'm I'm resting the gouge firmly uh, up against my finger and I'm using it uh, the wing as a scraper. So the side is cut cleanly. Now I want to uh, get this surface and this surface sort of in one plane. And by the looks of it, it almost is. So this part here and the middle is in line. So that will be level. So if I go just a little bit more down in the middle, it should be just slightly uh, concave surface. I can do it with shear scraper. slight curve so I'll drop the rest a bit down make sure how much thickness I have. So I think I have around three eighths, maybe a bit more, tiny bit more, at least here. And yeah, I think it will be fine. A little, little white dot in the middle where uh, uh, appears to be the an all that's the name so I want here one row and here somewhere in the middle of the two maybe maybe a bit here I'm going to set the rest at the center, pretty much, as much as I can, close to the center. Now I'm going to lock the spindle at that's the position, so that and that. And if I turn it 90, it should be locked somewhere close that and that and now I want to somewhere in the middle it will just mark it closely and I want to spindle to lock somewhere here okay so that's here degrees to that so that's close enough ok 
Okay. Now we can all. I just want to get a starter hole. Okay, so I'm going to use uh, 14 mil for the center for the big marble and uh, 12 mil or half inch drill bit for the the rest of the holes. Sort of a depth stop. And you don't need deep holes for this. So I'm just putting tape like that's quarter of an inch deep. Okay. I'll switch to the half inch. of the wax and oil just put the rag this sort of dry one in the hole and spin it so that turned out quite nice And if you want to get more challenging game, make smaller holes. Okay, so get marbles all in one corner and go for it. Hey! Okay. 